Hey guys, this is Brad from BD Production Studios here to give you a cool tutorial on how to make yourself have a cut and then it heal up over time. Um, so take your footage, drag it into a new composition. I'm going to rename the comp to Healer. And then take this, so rename it Heal. Now track your motion. So for me, I'm just going to do a little for about four seconds or three, yeah, about four seconds just for the sake of this tutorial. So go in to your composition, right click, track motion, do your rotation and your scale. With, um, make a, also make a new uh, null object. And then just choose two points. I'm going to do do my nose. Make the track a little bit bigger. And I'm going to do my lip with my little scar thing on it. Not scar, but I got punched in the face and that's what the guy gave me. So, just track your motion. Again, mine's for four seconds just so you can get to see what's going on in the tutorial. Like So it's not like 10 minutes or 18 minutes or 20 minutes. So it's done. Now edit target. Do null four. Okay. Apply. Y and X. Okay. Downsize that. So now you have your tracking data tracked here. Well, my guy's lip, but it could be whatever you want, whatever stays in the shot the longest. So now just dr drag out um, uh, a grayscale picture, like texture that you have or that you can find. Uh, sure there's some on Google, but go into this and do overlay and I'm going to use, I'm going to go insane and I'm going to use right here. So what you got to do now is you got to do, you got to go into, uh, you got to go select the layer, pre-compose, name it, I'm going to name it cut map. Well, you should name it cut map. Move all attributes, attributes to the new composition. Press okay. And then double click it. And now you have this. Now make a new solid and make it white. New solid, make it white. Uh, now, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking uh, this layer and just uh, uh, use, using Luma inverted, we're going to take out all, all the gray. So, but first we have to use color correction curves and just make a really big contrast curve so that it takes it takes out most of the white I mean the gray and then you just bring this back in to pop out the uh, the other cuts that are actually supposed to be there and now you can use luma inverted matte so that it's just this so now take what you want I'm gonna take uh, this right there and then if you go back into your comp you have that like already there but nothing special about it but what I also what you should do I'm kinda getting a little bit mixed up uh, take your footage and go into just copy copy it go into your other one and then put it and then paste it down put it below everything and choose uh, guide layer this means that it won't show up in any other comp besides it's just basically a picture of, of it in the background just so you know what's going on so now take your cut map and a null ob your null object actually duplicate your null object before you do this take your one of your null objects and pre-compose it into a cut pre-comp uh, cut pre-comp Press OK. Now you have a cut pre comp. Just double click it to open it. And I like sliding it forward. Also, paste a layer of your uh, footage. And use guide layer. And then go into uh, go parent your uh, cut map to your null object. So when you go back into this and you play it, it stays on your guy's face. So, well, somewhat. If you're, if you're, footage doesn't move around like my guy's lip does my lip does then it will stay on your face pretty well so that's it for this tutorial i'll probably uh 
uh, not make a video about this tomorrow and just do part two about this. Or maybe it'll come up later today. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay tuned for part two. See ya.